Mallard reaction. Mallard reaction is a reaction between a reducing sugar and an amino acid. It is non-enzymatic browning. Some results of Mallard reaction are browning, altering of flavor, reduction of nutrient value, mutagenic products, and precipitation. Some desirable products with the Mailer reaction are bread crust and coffee. Some undesirable products are condensed milk, clear juices, dry egg whites, and frozen yogurt. Now, the way that the Mailer reaction goes is you start with the reaction of an amino acid and a carbonyl group. From there, it goes down to the result. The result is information of dark pigments, and those are brown neutrogenous polymers and copolymers called melanoids. Now, the rate of the reaction depends on a certain amount of things, like the temperature, the pH, nature of the amino acid, lysine and arginine, and the nature of the sugar. Now, the sugar must be a reducing sugar. Pentosis is greater than hexosis, which is greater than disaccharides. Aldosis is greater than lactosis. And mannose is greater than galactose, which is greater than glucose. Open structure. Now, there are strict requirements. You have to have a reducing sugar plus an amino group plus water to have a successful Maillard reaction. For example, you can have aldose sugar plus an amino compound which would yield an insubstituted glycosylamine plus H2O. Now, there are also some things that can inhibit a Maillard reaction, such things as trying to control the moisture content, having a pH that's less than 5, having low temperatures, removing and blocking substrate are all things that can inhibit a Maillard reaction. Now, I'm going to give you a better diagram or look at how a new reaction works on paper. To start with your amino acid reaction with a carbonyl group. That will in turn result in formation of dark, which is your browning pigments in your products called melanoids. And your sugar has to be reducing And your melanoids are brown, nitrogenous polymers, and copolymers. Now, when it comes to inhibiting a malad reaction, I'm also going to give you an example of removing the substrate, which in turn will give you gluconic acid. Now, you can also inhibit by blocking a substrate by adding SO2 or sulfites, which will bind with a carbonyl group, aldehyde. 